Hi guys. Thank you for joining me today. Um, today's sermon is going to be called Dancing in the Dark. And, um, okay. Um, so, um, I was, um, thinking about this the other day, how a relationship with the Lord is much like dancing, and whether it be ballroom dance, whether it be ballroom dancing or jazz dancing or um, whatever kind of dancing you could think of. And as I was thinking of th this, I was thinking of, um, oh, the issues that we face and what we go through as people. And I'm, and, and I began to think that Sometimes it's like dancing in the dark, you know, you're moving with your partner, you're moving with God, um, but it feels like you don't know where you're going, although he does, and um, it made me think of, you guys know I love music, uh, It this made me think of, uh, like, three songs that I know about dancing. Um, um, one, one of them is, can I have this dance uh, for, the, for the rest of my life by Anne Murray. She's a, she's a Canadian singer. Um, another one is, um, can I have this dance from High School Musical? And um, and these songs and and uh, these and the one of them is Perfect by Ed Sheeran, where I got the title. Uh, for this for this sermon um, first when I think of the Anne Murray song can I have this dance for the rest of my life um, she talks about remembering when well the person in the song I don't know if it's her or whatever but the person in the song talks about remembering the first time her and her beloved danced together. And it said, I'll always remember the song they were playing the first time we danced. And I knew. As we sway to the music, la, 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 la. and hail to each other, I fell in love with you. And then the chorus goes, Did I have this dance for the rest of my life? Will you be my partner every night when when we're together? It feels so right. Could I have a stand for the rest of my life? <laughs> and. I think the 
those are the right lyrics. I might have messed up in between. Um, and that's what the what what the Lord's saying. Because when two partners are dancing together, usually in ballroom uh, dancing or just regular slow dancing, one person's leading and the other person's following. Not two people are leading and two people or two people are following. One person has to be leading and one person is following. And the Lord is saying, I want to dance with you. I want to lead you through your life. Step with me. Don't be afraid of it. And a lot of people are afraid to dance, to take that step and dance through life with the Lord. Like, um, I don't mean dance as in tips of the tulips. I mean, let him take you, let him move you through the steps of life. Let him just uh, caress you when you need to be caressed and uh, pull you um, pull you close when you need to be pulled close and let you let you go a bit when you need to go a bit because uh, sometimes when I watch the ballroom dancing on TV or in movies sometimes there may be a little solo part where the one of the dancers are on their own for a little while but the the person is still there so um they will have their solo parts but then they come together and twist in turns and like a dance life is full of twists and turns and it is just that uh but it's beautiful when you look at it like the, the twist and turns might feel awkward at the time and the dancing and the music might feel awkward at the time but in the end it'll turn out to be something beautiful and the lord's saying i want to dance with you I want to show you the steps to this. I want to lead you. But um, some of you will not let him lead. Some of you are just like, no, I want to step this way and that way. And it's like very uh, disjointed. Uh, now, I know, <laughs> I figured a lot of you watch Dancing with the Stars. I've never seen that show just because I watch so much other TV that I've never seen this show. But could you imagine if Dancing with the Stars, if if the two people dancing were, uh, um, were going two different ways? Like one person was doing this step and one person was doing that step. And it would look so disjointed and it would just not be good. And I, and the Lord is saying that's what's happening with some of you. Uh, when, when the Lord is trying to lead you the, in this step, you are trying to go this way. He's saying, get in sync with me. And trust me and know that I won't steer you wrong. Um, and he's saying, I want you to teach, I want to teach you the steps through life. And when you fall, I'll catch you. And when you fall, we fall together and I'm right there to break your fall. Um, there's this... <laughs> There's this part in, in Dirty Dan uh, in the movie Dirty Dancing where uh, Baby is te uh, pa um, Johnny is teaching Baby how to dance and she keeps on following, following and he's like 
He's like, I can't do this anymore. You keep on phone. He's, she's like, he's like, what? She's like, well, you're not showing me the dances you're expecting me to learn, but you're not showing me the dances. And he's and he's and he slows down and teaches her to dance, and then and then he starts teaching her on different surfaces. So so you might be saying to the Lord, well, you're not teaching me to dance and whatever but he's saying i'm trying but you just want to go your own way um and i remember about that movie when he's teaching her on different services there's a montage of him teaching her in the in the grass in the water on a tree limb and I find, I find that scene really interesting because uh, the tree limb is teaching her balance. Uh, when he's teaching baby, he's teaching baby on different surfaces so that so so that she'll learn to develop balance. Could it be that the Lord is teaching you to dance on different surfaces with different problems and different ways to problem solve because he's trying to teach you how to balance your way through life that you can't have too much work and you can't have too much fun you need to meet in the middle and the reason why he's teaching you on all these different surfaces through all these different problems and through all these different twists and turns is he's trying to teach you how to think in this way or in that way or just differently than you've ever thought of before because when you when you have a problem that you haven't faced before and it takes um and it takes a different kind of thinking you need to develop those skills so could it be that your problems are trying to uh, develop skills in you and you're so busy focusing on the problem you're not really foc- you're not really um, getting that this problem is teaching you skills that you need in your later life and this problem is teaching you how to balance through your life and um one thing about one other thing about dancing is you need to trust your partner you need to uh, you need to under there needs to be trust and there needs to be um there needs to be patience and there needs to be trust because you can't expect to to start dancing and get it right away um but and you just need to trust that while you're learning your partner has you the lord says i know you're learning to go through this i know you're learning to go through life but you but you have to trust me you have to trust that I know where this thing is leading. I know where I'm taking you. I know the twists and turns. And trust that I'll be there to lead you and guide you. And I'll have your hands. And I'll dip you when I need to dip you. And I'll turn you when I need to turn you. Um, And you don't have to worry. Um, And also... One other song besides Anne Murray that this te- um, about dancing that this teaches me, uh, not this teaches me, one other song that I think of when I think of our relationship with the Lord in relates to dancing is 
high school musical, uh, Can I Have This Dance? Um, um, It talks about uh, dancing together in a relationship because uh, Zac Efron's character and Jessica uh, and Vanessa Hutchins' character are in a relationship and they're talking ab about dancing. Um, and they're talking about dancing together, and they're talking about the twist in terms of life, and like, and that's what dancing in the with God does. And sometimes you dance in the dark, and you can't see your way. But He's saying, even though you feel like you're dancing in the dark, it's meant to to really hone your focus. When it's dark and you can't see your way clear, he's saying it's meant to really hone what you focus on. And it may look dark, but when it's dark, you just have to remember that he's with you. And this sermon title is called Dancing in the Dark. But you're not really dancing in the dark because the light is always there to guide you. The Lord's light is always there to guide you. And he said, you're not, you may feel like you're dancing in the dark. You may feel like you can't see your way clear. You may feel that everything is against you, but you're not. The light is, is there to guide you. And what I like about uh, Can I Have This Dance by Vanessa Hutchins and, and um, Zac Efron from High School Musical is that it talks about um, just the twists and turns and of life and going through it together. And the Lord... The Lord wants me to say that he's in it with you. All the twists and turns and all the dips and dives of life and every every shake, every shimmy, he's in it with you. You're not alone. You're not dancing alone. The Lord is dancing in the dark with you, and dancing in the dark really, when you can't see your way, you have to depend on your other senses. You have to depend on your spiritual senses, your spiritual eyes, your spiritual ears, your spiritual uh, sense of, um, your spiritual eyes, your spiritual ears, your spiritual sense of taste and smell, just like your senses in the spirit. What well, what do you sense that the Lord is trying to say to you? What do you hear the Lord trying to say to you? Oh, what what can you sp smell coming around the corner? And what can you what can you touch? What are you feeling in your spirit? What is the Lord trying to tell you through, through this dance in the dark? He's trying to tell you something, and he wants you to listen. Um, a few weeks ago, I talked about, a few months ago now, I talked about listening. Uh, the Lord wants you to listen, and he wants you while you're dancing into the dark to heighten your spiritual ears and your spiritual um, eyes. What do you hear and what do you see 
And when you taste and when you smell in the spirit, what what's going on around you? What can you feel? What can you sense? That's what the Lord is trying to hone through this. And it's not easy and it's not meant to be easy, but it's the darkness develops you. Let the darkness develop you. Don't let it destroy you. The darkness can develop you or destroy you. Let it develop you, not destroy you. And it didn't come to destroy you. It come, it came to develop you. And because the best photos need to develop in the dark first before they come out into the light. Because if they don't have a dark room, the picture does, doesn't show up clear. So could it be the reason why you're why you're in the dark room is for the picture of your life to show up more clear than you've ever seen it before? After this dark period in your life, there's going to be such a weight of glory, such a light that you won't ever um, be able to uh, measure it. There won't be words for what the Lord has for you. So just know that he's dancing in the dark with you and know that he's taking you through all those turns and twists and dips and dives and know that he will never leave you nor forsake you. And it may seem like he is left, but he's, although he's not in front of you, he is behind you, pushing you, still guiding you. And even though you can't feel him, He's still there. He hasn't left you. He loves you too much to leave you. And there's so much greatness, too much greatness inside of you to have him leave you. He wouldn't leave you without an escape. He wouldn't leave you without any support. He He's way too God for that. He's way too invested in you to, to leave you dancing in the dark on your own. And um, with every step in the dance with God, he's get he's trying to get you better. He's trying to make you become the person that he wants you to be. Um, it may not feel that you're getting better. It may feel that you keep on falling and tripping. But those, trip it, those trips and falls teach you the, the hard steps, the steps that make you trip and fall, the turns that make you just uh, crash down to the ground. The, those are the turns that are developing you. And he's saying right now, let him develop you. Let him lead. Stop trying to lead your own life. You can't do it. He has designed you to do it. He's designed you to dance with him. You're designed to dance. You're designed to dance. You are designed to to dance through your life with God. And I don't mean dance as in um, let's be happy all the time because that's not realistic. But you are designed to move with God as in a da dance. He steps, then you step. He steps, then you step. He steps and you step. 
and some of the steps are the same, are mirrors, and some of the steps are different, but they, um, together, they, they make something beautiful. Sometimes God will mirror your steps and God use it. Sometimes he'll have you do, he'll do one set of steps and he will cause you to, to do what is called, a di what is, um, what looks like to be a different set of steps, but together it will make the most beautiful picture ever. You need to learn how to dance together with God. How to move through life and let him lead. And he wants that for you. It's like I got to let him. Sorry, that song just, just um, appeared in my head. So I'm saying, enjoy the dance with God. Enjoy the dance with God. And there's also, um, there's, there, the dancing songs just keep coming. I'm thinking of um, uh, Whitney Houston, I want to dance with somebody, where she talks about wanting to dance with somebody who loves her and wanting to wanting to feel somebody beside her that loves her and the lord wants to say that he loves you you don't no man no woman no person no animal can love you the way that god can he wants to love you like that you you don't um Before, before you get involved with another person in a relationship, in a human relationship, or even a friendship, you need to, 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 de to accept God as your partner through life. He doesn't want a lord over your life. He wants to partner with you. And, and he is the lord over your life, but he doesn't want to uh, hit you over the head. That's what I mean by lord of your life. He wants to be the lord of your life, but he doesn't want a lord over your life like you, you must do this or you're going to hell. He doesn't want to do that. He wants to... Um, partner with you and he wants to be the Lord of your life. He wants to be the head of your life. Um, he wants to give you a, a mission to stick. He wants you to stand under his mission for your life. That's why he wants some mission because he has a mission that he is made for you to carry out and he wants you to stand under it so it's submission because sub means to stand under so so he wants you to to he, he has a mission that he wants you to stand under and he wants to take you through the steps of your life he wants to lead. He wants to guide you through the tw twists and turns and dips and dives through life. And um, the last song I want to bring up is um, is called simply "The Dance" by Garth Brooks, and. This basically talks about a person uh, who is who is regretting who 
who things ended badly in a relationship and he's like um I'm not glad I didn't know the way it all went ahead, the way it all was going on. Our lives are better left to chance. I would, I could have missed the pain that I had to miss. The Dance. Some some of us want to escape pain at all costs. All of us do, but by missing by missing the pain, we miss the dance. And the dance is not all awful. The dance is not all falling and you know twists and turns. Some parts of the dance are beautiful. So if you miss the dance, you miss the beautiful parts as well. And the Lord was was saying, if you miss the dance with me, you miss the bad parts, the awful parts. But you also don't get to see the beauty of life. And you struggle alone. And you... And you um, um, carry this load alone, and he's saying, you're not designed to do that. Let me dance with you and show you the awesome parts of your life and, so that you have no regrets. And let me show you all that. Uh, so guys, I will, I will see you later. Thanks for listening. Bye. And if you're a reader, join Rachel's Reads. Uh, Rachel's Reads is a new, is a new group that I formed. It's for people who like to read. It's just a suggestion group. It's not a book club. It's for people who like to like to read all kinds of things, fiction and uh, nonfiction. Uh, it's from books that I've read and that I've enjoyed. Some of them I've liked and some of them I've loved. And. Every day I post a few um, because I read all the time and all the time people are asking me, what are you reading, what are you reading, what are you reading? So I decided to uh, create this group to tell people what I'm reading. So uh, I will, so if you're interested in reading Books are just to see what I'm reading. Uh, join Rachel's Reads. Um, it's on my page somewhere. Or if you want me to invite you, uh, just um, just send me a message saying that you want me to invite you. Or I'm going to post something later on today. And if you like that post, not this one, um, because this is my sermon, it's a separate thing. But if you like the post that I'm going to post later on today and that, that I posted yesterday, I will send you an invite to the group, um, to the suggestion group, and you will see what I'm reading. I read so many books that not Everything will be on there, but most things all, that I like, I'll try to put on there. So thank you guys. Bye. And every day, there is something new on Rachel's Reads. So I will see you soon, guys. Bye.
It's like catching lightning. The chance is to find me someone like you. And we'll there step together. We just keep on getting better. Can I have this dance? Can I have this dance? I know I forgot some of the words, but, but you get my drift. And I will post all the songs I mentioned on my page later on today so that you could listen to them on YouTube. So I'll see you later, guys. Bye. It's so funny. I remember this um, Fix Your Life episode with Yana Van Zandt where she was talking about she was talking to this Spanish couple who liked liked to dance and she was showing them how to dance through life how to move together in synchronicity which which was awesome and like to to like the man stepped and then the woman stepped and uh, they turned under and he he dipped her and it was such a beautiful thing to watch uh, just dancing together and I think a lot of well I'm not married but from what I can gather a lot of relationships don't work out because the two people involved don't dance together. One of them is doing this and one of them is doing that. And the Lord said, in your relationships, in your friendships even, uh, get on the same page and you need to, to learn how to work together, not only in your marriage relationships, but in your friendships as well. You need to... Uh, uh, be synchronized. Too many people in your relationships and in your relationship with God are out of sync. And he's and he's like, in your relationship with me, that's why you're struggling because you're out of sync and I and I want to get you back into sync. But if you if you just let me. If you just let me lead you and get you back into sync, we can do this thing. I love you too much to let you fall, but you need to let go and let me take the lead and know that I'm there to help you and to know know that I'll, I'll never leave you forsaken. I'll never leave you alone. And that's what he wants you to say, wants you to um, know today that he's with you and he's for you and he wants to dance with you so, so much and he wants to be partners with you and he wants to give you a new mission to stand under so that your life um, becomes brighter and more vibrant. The Lord wants you to, to live a vibrant life, dancing with him, a life full of color. And it may not, and it's not going to always be rosy, but in, in the dance, God will teach you through the, t the twists and turns. Not only help you make it better, but the twists and turns and the dance of life are to teach you 
uh, strategies on how to handle different things, different obstacles in your life. And he so wants to do that today. So let him do that. If if you don't have a relationship with the Lord today, just let him know that you want him in your life. Let him know that you need him in your life in your own words. A lot of uh, preachers pray after the person but I tend to believe that the Lord wants to hear your thoughts and uh, what you what you need from Him. And my words are, are are my words; they're not your words. He wants to hear from your heart, from your soul, from your spirit. And after that, if you need help, feel free to message me here. Just send me a message, and I will try my best to give you next steps. God knows I'm not perfect, but uh, we'll learn this dance together. Life is about learning how to dance. We will fall, we will, we will twist and we will turn, but we will come up the other side. And life continues to be a learning experience. If you're not learning how to dance, you're not living. So live today. The Lord is saying, in this dance of life, learn how to live. You're going to live today. You're not dying. You're going to live. In the name of Jesus. While you're dancing in the dark, make sure that you move towards the light. The dark is to develop you. You're not meant to stay there. You're meant to move towards the light. And in the end, in the Ed Sheeran song, Perfect, it said, Dancing in the dark, you, you between my arms. Um, Jesus wants you to know that you're dancing in the dark, but you're in his arms when you're doing that. You're not alone. He's holding you. It may feel like you're alone, but he's holding you. He's right there.
Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks.